In this video, we're gonna set the manifold pressure for this furnace. Now, as I've said before, here we are up here. This is a combustion chamber. The gas valve regulator must be referenced to the combustion chamber because that's where the gas flows out. If you don't reference it, any numbers you do when you adjust the regulators on these things is going to be incorrect. Now this one's especially different because it's a two-stage. It has a primary low fire and a secondary high fire here. These are both regulators that adjust this. Now let's look at the piping that I've set up for the manometer. Now the manometer has this hose here that goes straight to the tap. Taking my little plug out here and I put my tap in and it goes to the manometer. Okay, the opposite side of the manometer has to go to, it has to be referenced to this combustion chamber again. So here's the hose that is normally coming out of the combustion chamber. It goes down the pressure switches too because it has to reference there too. And it normally the black tubes just all hook together. In this case I've added this piece of tubing here and another T so that I can run a hose over to here. Now my manometer is being referenced to the combustion chamber also. So we're gonna fire this thing up and we're gonna set low fire. Okay now looking at the gas valve on the top there you'll see when you look close see it says low right there that's for low fire. Now I've taken the cap off and it's a Allen head adjustment and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire this thing up and fire it up on low fire and once it gets going we will check what the pressure is. I also want to note while I'm here when I have made my adjustment on this uh, regulator I need to put the cap back on because it's going to make a difference. Now I don't usually put the cap on, I usually just put my finger over it because it's a lot quicker. So I'm going to adjust this and then put my finger over this and see if I can get the right pressure. Now the low fire pressure on this can run from 1.4 to 1.7 inches water column. It can be anywhere in there. So let's go ahead and fire this thing up. Okay, your reducer's up. Okay, we are running. Now, notice I'm showing 1.90. Now that's too high. 1.7 is as high as it should go, but let's cover this up. Okay, that puts us down pretty much to the high end of first stage, and that's okay. That'll work. But remember, you gotta cover that silly thing. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check it in high fire. So I'm going to replace this cap and I'll show you how to get this thing to high fire. Now I'm going to show you how to set this thing up so that you can do the second stage. The way these things are set up in these two stage furnaces, not all of them but most of them, is if you're running a single stage thermostat you can operate this thing almost like a two stage. What you do is you jumper W1 and W2. And then when W1 comes on and W2 is also energized, it starts a timer. And it runs 10 or 12 minutes in low fire, then goes to high fire. If it's a two stage, you just go ahead and hook your W1 and W2 up normally. But if it's single, that's the way it's done. So you're going to take out any jumper that may be across there or any wire that's going to W2. And you'll just have W1 fired up. Now you can hear the furnace is running. I'm going to fire this thing up. Now it hasn't been running for 10 minutes, but it doesn't have to. I started off on W1 and then after the burner's light, I go like this and I've got this, this wire here, this yellow wire here, and I hook it there from R. It's coming from R and jumping over there. If I've done that after, 
the first stage is fired up, it will take about a minute and it'll go to high fire. So you can get away without uh, having to wait 10 minutes every time. So let's take a look at what's happening with the manifold pressure. Now you can hear it went up and we're showing 3.69 for our manifold pressure. Now that's within specs, 3.7 is the highest. If I needed to adjust it, let's show you where it is. Right here in the valve, put your Allen head in there and as you turn it, it's going to change. Now here again, the cap is not on it. So I'm going to double check this thing by putting my finger over it. Okay, we're showing 3.69. I'm going to put my finger over this hole. Now in this case, it doesn't make any difference. So I'm okay with this. Uh, but I do have to put the plug back on. But you do have to check it. Before we leave this, I want to caution you on something. There's two mistakes you can make on this thing. Do not pull this plug out while the unit's running. It's going to dump gas out of there and you could have fire in your face. So it's a mistake we all make now and then. But remember, the other thing I want you to think about is when you take this off, you're going to take the fitting out. Now here's a very common mistake. You don't put the plug in. You forget about the plug. Uh, of course, I've never done that because I'm such a good service tech. But I know other guys that have. Right. We've all done it, guys. Okay. When you've got this plug back in and tightened down, then go ahead and fire up the furnace and leak check it. You can do it with soap bubbles, electronic, whatever you want, but leak check that fitting. Okay, that's it on the uh, setting manifold pressure on the 90 plus furnace.